Mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the energy due to the position or movement of an object. Okay, and there are two big forms of mechanical energy, kinetic energy and potential energy. So let's look at some examples. I, I've got my squoosh ball and I, if I hold it up high, it's got potential energy, right? I can let go of it. And what happens? Well, that potential energy is getting converted into kinetic energy, right? Right down here when it hits the floor, it has no potential energy and I've, I've stopped the kinetic energy, right? So again, <clears throat> those types of energy are transferable and you'll often see a lot of problems where you've got to convert something from a certain amount of kinetic energy to potential energy. Let's say with a pendulum that's moving where it has a maximum amount of kinetic energy and then that kinetic energy is slowly converted into potential energy. So let's look uh, quickly at what kinetic and potential energy is. So kinetic energy, which is the energy of movement, equals one half times the mass of the object times its velocity squared. So one half mv squared is the formula we use for kinetic energy. Potential energy, when we're talking about positional energy, we need to know the mass and then the force of gravity, g, and then the height, we're moving it up. So mass times gravity times height gives us potential energy. Remember, uh, gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared, the force of acceleration there. Okay, so th these are two types of mechanical energy and oftentimes we'll be solving something from a certain amount of potential energy and figure out how much kinetic energy it has at its lowest point. Uh, and we can, again, use these two equations to solve problems with mechanical energy.